That's exactly what these judges are doing. They're knowing they're sensing these things, but inside they're just, they're feeding the vengeance of the courtroom and the family that's in there. And they know when they turn you over to the guard, and we haven't even talked about the prison guards and all of those things that are going on, they're going to be held. If they think they're going to stand before God and go, well, that person's worse than me, they're living a complete lie and a delusion, which, which obviously if you surround yourself with liars, in a courtroom, the judge is lying, prosecutors are lying, police are lying. I got my favorite Darth Vader, let's say. Uh-huh. And so you steal it. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm burned up. Man, that, that is bad. Stealing's a crime, right? So Correct. I logically go down that, and there's a neighbor. He, he, he's been out of prison. He's got tattoos all over his body. You know, he's a rough character. And so I, you know, I'm not going to go to the police because, well, I went to the police, right? Uh-huh. And I go, yeah, he stole my favorite Star Wars. They just laugh me and kick me out, right? Uh-huh. I get that. So I'm powerless. That's exactly what these judges are doing. They're knowing they're sensing these things, but inside they're just, they're feeding the vengeance of the courtroom and the family that's in there. And they know when they turn you over to the guard, and we haven't even talked about the prison guards and all of those things that are going on, they're going to be held. If they think they're going to stand before God and go, well, that person's worse than me. They're living a complete lie and a delusion, which, which obviously, if you surround yourself with liars in a courtroom, the judge is lying, prosecutors are lying, police are lying. And-